NMF TV. Silence your radio, kill your television. NMFTV.com. Pass it to my boys, Chuck Hollow and Polo. Real heads listening, not just to the intros. Knowledge of the realness, y'all should really feel this. Always down the ball, hard on y'all's witness. This here is really for the real fans of those who've never really been bandwagon fans. Listen to the real talk straight up from the stands. Sa bagay, ano, ano, ano nga ba yung, yung value ng second pick yeah, yeah. Sa, sa PBA draft? Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> yeah, you can flip it no, anyway, yeah. no, no, I'm saying, like, why keep the pick if you're top, if you're Kia, right? Why keep why, why, why keep it? Hey, stop bashing Kia. It's just Troy Rosario. Hey, stop bashing Kia. Or it's just Moala Tau too, Hey, ha? stop bashing Kia. You give the pick away. Hey, stop bashing... <laughs> <laughs> it's for Larry Rodriguez. Hey, you know what? You know what's the best thing I, I read on, on Facebook today? Mm. I read it's, a, it's an article. It's a headline. It said, "Blackwater will be preparing for the future by drafting young players." <laughs> <laughs> what's up, guys? This is episode three of From the Sands, a brand spanking new episode, and it comes at a perfect time because the playoffs. It's coming. Can you imagine if we recorded last night? Yeah. <laughs> we would not. We would, really not we would not have been. You, you would not be focused <laughs> yeah. at all. I would have been. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Chapez! Hey, speaking of. Hey, speaking of. The man is true to his word. Rocking What's the. Up? Isang, isang ikot naman pa. Isang 360. Yeah, rocking the, the, the Manny Pacquiao Kiedgers. So. You know, um, <laughs> do you know what the best part about about yesterday was? Uh. So you guys were praying yeah. for to 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 beat uh, for Kia to beat Meral. Mm. may chance kayo. Then in the second game, you guys basically just 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 kick uh, Kia out of the out of playoffs. Exactly. Exactly. Ginamit nyo lang sila. Exactly. Um, you just you used them. You you suited and booted them. You know exactly. What I mean? I'm I'm not proud of it. <laughs> I'm really not proud of it. Um, <laughs> Fact of the matter is, thank you, Kia. Uh, I really love you guys. You're my second favorite team. And here's the thing, okay? And this this is how I rationalized it last night. Kia essentially helped gift wrap a playoff spot for Hinebra. Yeah, sure. Okay? Uh, ensuring that Hinebra not miss the playoffs. In return, and a lot of people on my timeline actually said that they are now Kia fans, <laughs> second to Hinebra. So Kia essentially got a lot of, you know, Bandwagon fans, so you know, quits, quits now. Yeah, you know, the best part was I saw a tweet by Carl Dehesa. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he tweet niya, that shh was pure luck, SMH. <laughs> Shout out to Carl Dehesa, Carl Dehesa. Carl Dehesa. Keep yeah, it yeah. real, keep yeah, it yeah. Carl Dehesa, keep it 100. Hey, his name is Paul Bisaman. What's up? My name is uh, Chaka Raneta. No Carlo Pamintuan, get, get well soon, my brother. Uh, ka muna, um, as I told him, yeah. uh, he needs to get well to, to cover the PBA and to do all of that. Kasi babayaran naman siya dyan. Uh, and in turn, siya yung bumibili ng tickets Correct. para sa mga Correct. giveaways natin. Yeah, but hey, we, there's more than enough of us to go around. What? Um, because we're going to be previewing the, the PBA playoffs right now. Okay, let's go through them one, um, each matchup one by one. Let's look at the storylines. Maybe some of the key players, what to look forward to, and let's make, of course, our boldly horrible predictions. Hey, hey okay, FTS wait. tradition. Sorry, ah. oh. I just ha- magaya bang lao ng konte. Magaya bang lao ng konte. Number one, I put Japheth in my top ten. You did? I did. You did. I put Japheth in my top ten. I somehow feel validated for that. And secondly, out of everyone in this panel, I was the only one that picked Hinebra to make the playoffs. You did! Right? You called it! You called it! You called it. So, you know, sometimes swag works. Yeah, sometimes... Other you... times, you leave Ranidel out of the top yeah. 10. You know, so, stuff like uh, that. Are you justified with uh, nope. leaving... Or... <laughs> nope. No way in hell I should have left no, Ranidel out. In fairness, in fairness, you did call Inebra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you clearly would still pick Inebra if you weren't a Inebra. Dude, if Inebra were like dead last time, I would have picked them to make the playoffs. <laughs> okay, first matchup. Uh, let's look at the first match. Yeah. Up. San Miguel versus. <laughs> you look at me. The first match first is. Match up? Uh, I can't. San Miguel, San Miguel versus. Meralco. Number two seed. Meralco. Uh, San Miguel versus number 17. Seven. seven. Okay. Um, I expect this to be a really. Like, like, this isn't going to be the most visually appealing. Uh, let's be honest. 
This is gonna be boring as hell. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Meralco has... <laughs> okay. Meralco has a way of boring... They do. Boring up... Ga- boring up... Boringing up games. Boringing up games. Sure. Um, and I don't know, I expected them to be this... To, to start the season when they got Sean uh, Anthony and then they got uh, Cliff Hodge and then they have Jared Dillinger. I expected them to be this uh, team na hard-nosed with you know, um, three, four guys at the, uh, in the floor at the same time of the same size, six, mm-hmm. six, four, six, three wingmen uh, defensively active na can force turnovers. But that hasn't really panned out, right? It's just, it's just another season of Meralco. Exactly. I, I don't know. Meralco, for me, and I'll be honest here, Meralco fans, sorry, but they're, they're blah. They're blah. And they're essentially... that The, the way they play is boring. Hmm. Pero... Effective naman. Mm. Nananalo naman sila somehow. Except against Kia. Think about Meralco is. Meralco is what a team... Uh, it's what a, cor- a, a, a Norman Black team would look like na walang outstanding star players. Maybe aside from Cliff Hodge. Like, the system works. The system will get you a lot of wins. But if you don't have that one elite player who will mm. be able to you know, elevate your team to two wins or get some buckets in the last two minutes. It, it's going, really going nowhere. And as much as we love Cliff Hodge, he's not that guy. He, yeah. You can even make the case that he sort of regressed this conference, this season. I, I don't know why. Is he injured? Is he just maybe playing out of position? Or is he not a system of Coach Norman? But yeah, it's been for me, I, I would think that this is sort of a letdown season for Cliff Hodge. Because I, I, I was expecting big things. Like, I, I had him as my, again, I had him as my BPC <laughs> in the All Filipino Conference if they made the semifinals. Yeah. But in the Gobs and Commission Cup, he's been, yes, he's feeling been a non factor. Feeling ko kasi with Cliff Hodge, um, he's, a, he's a great All Filipino guy, similar to Calvin. Because they can use their size, they can use their athleticism to, you know, get to the basket and attack the basket. Pero pag nagka-import na na bigger than yeah. them or more athletic than them, nanenegate lahat ng advantages sure. nila. Now, you look naman at the flip side and you look at San Miguel Beermen and uh, this team this team is stacked. Seven, seven straight. Yeah. Seven, seven straight, straight wins before they met some, the uh, Alaska team, jug- uh, juggernaut. Some, some team. Chamba lang, chamba. Chamba, chamba. Chamba lang, chamba blessed. lang. Hashtag blessed. Way <laughs> up. Um, <laughs> But yeah, this team has, this team has. Let's 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 let's. Can, can do you agree with me? Mm. Maski number two sila. They're still the favorites to win this this conference, right? Yeah, sorry Alaska, but yeah, seven straight wins and essentially going. They really started from the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And got all the way to the top. Yeah. And, you know that's that's no joke. Plus, they found the right mix of players. They're starting Chris Ross. Mm-hmm. They're using Alex Kabagnot off the bench. Junmar is the best garbage guy in the league right now. Most overqualified garbage Overqualified, guy. yeah. Overqualified uh. garbage guy. And um, underrated best import um, candidate in AZ Reed. I, th- this team figured it out finally. I mean, it was a testing phase for them in the... In the um, Komish Cup, mm-hmm. now in the Govs Cup, medyo na fine-tune na nila yung, yung laro nila. The, the, the continuity is there, the energy is back. Um, yeah, exactly. You have Paulo Busamante, top 10 player, Marshall Lasseter. <laughs> just balling! Just balling! Ball 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 okay! Um, so yeah, I, I, I really, as much as, um, as, as Meralco you know, has, has talent, it, there's just no match for San Miguel. Meralco actually it, lacks. It's really no match for San Miguel. They, they lack size. They, no, they lack everything wherein San Miguel has an overwhelming advantage only. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just even more magnified because you have a Reynel Hugnatan trying, to, no, a Danny Aldefonso, 40 year old Danny I trying to defend um, his, pro, pro, uh, his, his protege. His, yeah, his protege in June Mar Fajardo. Yeah. You have Cliff Hodge having to, to, to worry about, you know, about, about AG Reed, Arvin Santos, Arvin Santos, all these guys. And eh. then, lalagay pa siya minsan kay uh, Lassiter. Yeah, and then right? you have Chris Ross, who basically won't even allow Anjo Karam and Microtest to even and bring the ball Ando. down. Uh, yeah, and, and then their Asian import to basically even bring the ball down because he's going to be pestering them the entire game. Um, uh, I just don't see how you can win two games against San Miguel. Yeah. Lalo na when SME, again, aside from the blip versus Alaska, is just balling out of control right now. And 
I mean, sorry, that that twice to beat advantage it's is it, it's huge. It's I mean, basically, Meralco comes in pressured already to win. Yep. SMB can play pressure free, lose the game, and still have one more game to you know redo everything. They're not gonna lose. I don't think they're losing. They're gonna lose. Okay, let's move on. Losing. San Miguel wins in one game. Yep. Let's move on. All right, second matchup, Olip Samante. I'm gonna set you up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for setting me up, Chuck. Take uh, it away. Second matchup, uh, Rain or Shine. Versus Barajo. Barajo. Okay, the, the huge storyline here is how Barajo started off 6-1. Top of Six the league. 6-1? One? 6-1. One. Doesn't that feel like ages ago? 6-1. Six Six one. One. They started off at 6-1 and ended at 6-5. And then here is a uh, Rain or Shine team that started off, I think, with four losses. Hmm. And then now... They barged all the way up to the top of the uh, rank, t- uh, top four, top four basically. So it's parang magkaiba yung direction na pinupunta ng dalawang team. What would you say is the biggest reason for the fall from grace ng Barakabol? They stopped playing like Barakabol. <laughs> they stopped giving away players. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. They stopped harvesting. Okay. Barakabol got to the harvesting top. Harvesting talent. Harvesting talent. And ta- harvesting They wins. plant talent yeah. and, and they harvest, harvest wins. They stop. Wins. Yeah, they stop doing El that. Nido. What they end, yeah, El Nido. Sorry, El Nido. Tama, tama. Uh, What they ended up doing was, you know, harvest players. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My bad. My bad. Saya mo, ay Nebra fan. Hey, thank you also so to Barako for giving us the win. Bless, last bless. Week. Bless. Oh, Sobrang bless. Everything that could have gone horribly wrong didn't happen yeah. you know for you guys go uh, Barajo okay Barajo. Barajo Barajo's game plan was simple they had an athletic and agile big man in Liam McMorrow to defend the paint for 48 minutes to play 48 minutes <laughs> which is still more humane than whatever Marcus Doughton played <laughs> shout out to Marcus yeah. Doughton magandang gina- ginagawa ng Barajo they had Liam McMorrow and then they surrounded him with 4 out they, they had Willie Wilson playing de facto stretch 4 <laughs> They had Joseph Yu as the playmaker. Then they had RR, Lanete, JC, all of these guys spreading the floor. Towards the end of the conference, they, they went away from it um, against Pure Foods. And this is the funny thing. Ah. My seven foot big man, ka, na athletic naman. Hindi siya parang PJ. No, Ramos. he dunks over people. Exactly, diba? From the Alos, from diba? the free throw line. So you expect him, you have trust in him to defend the paint. Sure. Okay, against Pure Foods with guys like James Yap, Alain Malik, CPJ, Simon, nag-zone sila. Mm. <laughs> nag-zone sila. Could work. Ang diba? Hey! Strategy. 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 It didn't. They lost by, thir- they lost by 28 points. Mm. Who would have thought? Pure Foods shot 16 three-point shots on them. And they also tried to put a zone against, or to, they, they went up against Barako, against Hinebra last week, right? Mm. Exactly. How'd that go? <laughs> yeah. So yun eh, they, they, I don't know what's happening with them, but they really just went away from whatever made them successful in the first time. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder why. Okay, um, here's the thing about, here's the thing about Barako, and I've noticed for the past few, uh, fa- past few conferences. Paasa sila eh. Paasa sila sa lima nilang fans. Um, but, you think, <laughs> <laughs> you think that Barako figures it out, and they really start strong. They get people talking. But here's here's the here's the narrative that always happens throughout the middle of the season. Barako is winning games, therefore we need to stop with with all of this farm team talk. We need yeah. to stop with all of this. Ah, ay nila manalo, ay nila matrade. Look at our team. Our team is so great. Blah blah blah, diba? Mm. And then, as 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 uh, as the saying goes, cream rises to the top. Yeah, and the the level of excellence of certain players is is not sustainable because again you need talent to win in the PBA. Yung mga player of the week, no? hindi na naging player of oh, the week. Oh, eh, parang medyo na na ubusan sila ng bala, eh, ba? So cream rises to the top, and as well as Barako players are playing, you eventually you will be able to defend that. Yeah. That being said, that being said, I think Barako takes one game. I think Barako takes one game. Okay. I can't, I can't agree with you on that one. Really? Yeah. You, think, you think Ross wins both? I think Ross wins both. I think they get one game. I think Ross wins both. Um, Ross doesn't have the height. Wendell McInnes, uh, 
um, Bo Belga and JR Kenyahan are all around 6'5", 6'3", guys. Yep. But they have the heft to actually, you know, battle Leo McMorro. They have the weight to actually push McMorro out of the paint. And then they have the best defenders in the league at the wing positions, which is where Barako's strength really lies. Mm. Uh, they have Gabe Norwood to essentially lock down Joseph Yo. And then they have Ibanez assuming he isn't suspended um, to defend uh, Intal, defend um, defend Lanete, defend RR. Then that doesn't include Ryan Aranya pa. Tapos, nandiyan pa yung magulang na Chris Chu to defend Ryan Aranya. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, that, that's a matchup, I think. That, yeah. that, that's a fun matchup. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It just feels like it's, it's a tough sell for me to, to defend Barako, especially with how awful they've been playing. Sure. Sa akin lang kasi, uh, I, 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 see, I see all the relevant points. I see it that you know, definitely it's going to be hard to, to, for, for, Rainer Shine, eh, for Barako to, to beat Rainer Shine in a series. But... I feel like they just have may may gulpe de gulat lang ang Barako Bule. Again, they they haven't been here, they haven't been in the situation in a long time, and they haven't had this much talent as well. Um, I think players lang. I, I, I again, you can call me crazy, but I think that that the Liam McMorrow versus whoever Rainer Shine will throw at them is going to be a thing. The thing about Barako Bule, kasi if you, if you watch their games, Liam McMorrow go dominates the game for thirty six minutes. But when you get to the fourth quarter, kapag pukpo ka na, he just runs out of gas. You know what? Okay. The thing kasi about Liam McMorrow is you need capable ball handlers to get you him do. to the to get him in the pick and roll and situation. They, they have. They do. Uh, they unless have Ross not locks them down. Uh, but, Yun yung sa akin. Yeah, but the thing is you, they don't really have point guards or guards to who lock down. Doesn't matter. Gabe Norwood, Jairi Ban, Jairi put them put him on Joseph Yo. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah, right. I still think Barako gets one game. Size, size, definitely. I think that's the biggest advantage of Barako. If they can focus on getting the ball to Makmoro, kahit laro inila si Makmoro for forty-eight minutes to get that one win, I think, I think kaya nila. Eh. But yun yung question dun eh. Can they continuously or consistently get Moro Makmoro um, active, or can they consistently get him uh, part of the offense? I think Barako will make the first game close. So <laughs> <laughs> yung ano mo eh. Gusto ko yung yung pag back out yeah. dun sa situation. Shout eh. out pala to the great Miko Halili who said the Kia jersey looks good on you. Yes. Hey, maybe yes. you should cheer for Kia now. Maybe I should coach Kia. <laughs> No, maybe you should be an assistant coach. That's, yeah. that's better. I yeah. actually get to call plays. Yes, you actually get to do stuff aside from be pogi and stand up. <laughs> Shout out to Mari Pacquiao. Okay, let's go to our third matchup. <laughs> let's go to our third matchup. This is actually going to be a very, very exciting one. Yeah, I, I think this is the Star Hot Shots versus Global Port Batang Pier making. Tama ba? Making their playoff debut? Hindi naman. May, no, making their first ever twice to beat advantage debut. There, that's I saved myself. There, I saved, I saved, saved myself. I saved myself. Yeah. The first time they actually have an advantage in First time, they, this is the highest finish for This is Global crazy. Highest we finish. need to take a moment to appreciate what Global Port did this conference. We do. We, we do. do. We do. Okay. First of all, they got an import who literally puts up 30-30s. Jared Famous had 37 rebounds one game to go along with his 30 points. Kung hindi siya 30-30, yung 20-20 parang mas regular sa kanya. Sure. That's Jared Famous. He's the perfect import for Global Port because all he does is rebound. Offensive, defensive, yeah. rebound. Perfect. He doesn't need the ball, He doesn't need the ball. And I get the ball, I'm yeah. kicking it out. Tipong itapon lang ni Romeo pataas. Yeah. Lahat tira lang, tira lang tira si Romeo. Essentially, what he does best Jared Famous is there to clean it up. I like Global Port. I like Global Port. Global Port is gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough out you, you, for you. You, for you had a you had a close watch of Global Port when they battled your second unit. Hey, hey. I'm not Romeo, bitter. Romeo Travis's knee hurt. I'm not bitter, by the way. It hurt. <laughs> I, I, it hurt. I tweeted last night. You know what hurts? Yeah. The tweets I got from Pure Foods fans. <laughs> that really. Hurt. Okay. 
Okay, lepas semua, lepas semua. Lepas semua, lepas semua. No, that just really really hurt. And you know, uh, say some stuff. I'm going to look for some tweets. Okay, say some people. stuff. Yeah. Last night, nag-tweet ako nung natatalo yung Ginebra, nung first, nung uh, first ano, first half. Sabi ko sana si Coach Compton yung mag coach sa NLEX ng second half para naman i-rest yung starters strong import. Total no bearing naman to para sa NLEX. Pare may nag-tweet sa akin, better daw ako pa. Seryoso? But no, stop being bitter. You have a game to worry about. <laughs> Sorry, can't take a joke. Hey, hey. Pure Foods fans, I got I got tweets na benta yung team mo. Sana investigate ng PBA yung ginawa <laughs> ng Alaska. Okay. Sana hindi na lang kayo sumama-sumali sa PBA kasi ayaw nyo na magpapatalo naman kayo. Bro, come on, man. His knee hurt. <laughs> he's, he's injured. Bro, hey. Take out the air quotes. Romeo Travis's knee hurt. JV Casio's tooth hurt. Sanithos's hand hurt. Okay. These are all valid excuses oh, yeah. not to be played in the second half. I'll, I'll, I just have to... And here's the thing. Mm. We pushed Global Porto overtime. Exactly. I just have to defend Chuck, okay? Kung talagang benta yung Alaska... Thank you! Kung talagang benta yung Alaska, pinalaro nila si Sam Eman. Hindi. Okay? No, no, baklaw sila. Sam Eman played. Pinalaro nilang matagal si Sam Eman. Eight in the fourth quarter. No, no, no. The chong, no, 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 that if it goes to a second game, Star Hot Shots wins. Let's talk about the first game. Does Global Bart have enough to beat Star Hot Shots in the first game? Global Bart? Enough to beat Star Hot Shots, yeah. Will you they know. beat Star Hot Shots? <laughs> baka baka may, may hate tweet ako eh. I like Global Bart eh. I really I, like I, Global I, I'm sorry, this might be a biased analysis and Carlo would probably be, hit, be the first person to hit me if he were here, but I feel that global. Did you invest in them on the Star Hot Chats? Oh, eh, pero baka, as per Carlo. Yeah, as per Carlo. Um, okay, you have Terence Romeo, Stanley Pringle, and uh, Krayem. These guys are wonderful. And Krayemer. Yeah, Omar, Omar Krayem. And Doug Krayemer. Doug Krayemer. <laughs> hey, sorry, sorry. These guys are great players that can handle the ball, that can create for the team, that can shoot from the outside. It's it's like three very similar players, pero iba iba yung iba iba yung point of attack nila, eh. and you can use them all interchanging. If you watched Pringle and how he dominated the overtime game against Alaska, it was it was like oh okay that's why you're the number one pick. And and Romeo also. Yeah, Ro- sorry, Romeo Romeo dominated in overtime. Yeah. Like he dropped daggers left and right. So ten points in overtime is pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good type. That's that's the danger for Star Hot Shots. That's the danger for Star Hot If If those three guys get going, no matter how slow their start is, if you let them get going at any point in the game, my my chance matalong star talaga dito. Eh. There, there's a huge chance matalong star. Because any of those three guys, you get the two of them going. Romeo sat out Romeo sat out most of the fourth and the third quarter. It was Krayem and uh, Pringle doing most of the damage. So, you know, if you get any of those two, three guys going, my, ano eh, my, my ups, well, I call it an upset because it's against Star. Hmm. But my upset chance ang global part. Well, like on paper, this looks like a series that, that Pure Foods always wins. Yeah, they diba? do, they do. It's like having an inexperienced team up against them. Parang kaya nilang... Kaya nilang utoin mm. into win, yeah, into yeah, yeah. beat, into losing yeah, for them. Exactly, yeah, exactly, um, exactly. I, I, I think Global Part's gonna win. Wow. I think, I really do. You know and fun? it's completely because I, you guys hurt my feelings, Pure Foods fans. No, 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 but you know what's <laughs> funny? You know what's funny? Ah. Even if you both think Global Port will win, mm. this is also the series wherein the top seed might have the biggest chance to lose their, ad- their yeah, advantage. Yeah. If, 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 if it's very rare that like all top teams, well, not rare, I don't have the numbers, but it feels like there's always one team that upsets it. Eh. 
Yeah. I think this is the most upset um friendly series aside from Hinebra versus Alaska. They were many man and then they said one win, one win. Okay. Alaskan one. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, on the Pure Foods end, why do you think na kaya silang i-upset ng ano eh? What's with Pure Foods that, 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 is it purely global port skill and global port players that have gotten you like this? Or is there something in Pure Foods that's also gotten you questioning them somehow? Uh, I just don't know if they want it as badly as they used to before. Right? Right? And I know that's such a hot take, that's such a narrative, yeah. that's such a subjective, that's such a stupid thing to say that they don't look like they want it, but... They don't, they. Sorry. They, 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 they almost, not man almost lost to Blackwater, but Blackwater is a team that they should have easily pummeled. Yeah. And they didn't rest any of their starters. Yeah, they went Like they weren't out. fighting for anyone, for anything. They, they could they have easily out. rested their yeah. starters. This is the first time in a long time that, that, that James is healthy, that Ping isn't banged up from Gila's duty, that PJ is healthy. They have Mark, Marcus Blakely also healthy. Joe Devance is healthy. So parang, aside from Ian Sangalang not being there, mm. there's no excuse. Eh. Yeah. You know, we're, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we're making this pre- pre- prediction right now. And then Pure Foods goes on to beat Global Park by like 30 points in game one. Totally. That, that's totally. what they do. Eh? Yeah. They, they did that to, they did it to Alaska last conference and they have firepower to do that. Um, like, what, like what you mentioned, the players that are there, you know, are starting to, to deliver and Marcus Blakely is still Marcus Blakely. Um, I don't know. I, I just have this, this, this fondness for Global Park, siguro. That's why I'm pick. That's why I'm making my very very hesitant pick. Na sila yung mananalo. Oh. But again, you guys can can tweet me as much, or you guys can tell me that I'm stupid, and I wouldn't disagree with you. I, I just think that my gut feels like Global Port has enough to win one game. Now, if this were a five game series, for sure star hot shots tayo. But if you're talking about one game, I wouldn't want to go up against Terence Romeo, Stanley Pringle, and whoever those boys are on, on Global Part. So I, I think that um, Global Part wins one game. And that's oh, going to be the game that matters. My only, my only basis for picking Global Port in one is because of the twice to beat advantage being such a huge yeah, exactly. advantage for them that they really fought hard from it. Momentum, winning against the top team in Alaska is also, no matter whoever they played, it was. It was a tough win for Global Port, ending this ending this conference at the highest position that they've ever ended is also yeah. a morale booster. On the flip side, I feel that Pure Foods has been inconsistent all all conference long. They're still a scary team. Um, they 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 seem to got it to get it going towards the latter end of the conference, but inconsistency against a hungry young team like Global Port. Can end up being an upset. Cannot wait for this. This one, I'm. I'm this I'm, one. Yeah, this, this is. One, this yeah. is the game. This is the one you want to see. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yep. So did we get through all of the matchups already? Aina, 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 Aina. We know. All right, it's going to do it for this episode. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, wait, wait. Okay, before we get into Alaska Hinebra, before we get into Alaska Hinebra, we both have to agree to turn off the reverse jinx. Really? Yeah. Okay. Turn it off, then we can turn it on again on Twitter. Okay. Para lang, cause remember when we did the Alaska Hinebra in one yeah, part? Yeah. It was awful. It was awful. So no reverse jinxing in this preview. Yes. Okay. Alaska in one. Hinebra in one. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hinebra in two. <laughs> it's completely Hinebra, man. Completely Hinebra, bro. Yeah, it's completely Hinebra, bro. <laughs> Game. Game. How do we talk about this one objectively, dude? Okay, I'm still on a high over the win yesterday. As you should be. It was a it great was a win. Great win. Great come from there. It, it's the kind of game that in previous conferences you would think, oh, they're gonna find a way to screw this up if you're Hinebra. Yeah, right? Deba. Right? It's it when when that when Ashley made that shot, I really thought that this is going to overtime. Or they were gonna make some dumb play and then it was gonna be Enlex steal the ball. Or I uh, know, or you know. Helter Brand would have been in the last play somehow. Because if you look at it, like Japet made an amazing shot. Yeah. But that's not the shot you want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in, the, exactly. In, the, in the dying seconds. And you know, it was a play that was busted up by for for Kim and for Tenorio. 
No, for Orlando. For Orlando Johnson. You know, and and Japet Aguilar ended up making a three point shot. Yeah. I mean but who cares? I mean you yeah. guys are in the playoffs and of a game winning. You shot. deserve you, you you guys deserve to celebrate. Thank you, Kia. Thank you. Thank you, Pia. Yeah. Kinebra. Kinebra. <laughs> but Alaska is rolling, dude. Alaska, Alaska is rolling. Alaska is rolling. Alaska is rolling. Alaska is rolling. Um, JV Gasho looks rolling. like JV Gasho again. Rolling. That, okay, that's why I'm, you know what, that's why I celebrated getting to the playoffs so hard. Like, parang it was, for me, the pinnacle of the conference. I won't lie, Nebra fans. I'll, I'll be totally honest here. After all the injuries and after all of the uh, doubters of Hinebra, ano yun eh, um, it felt as if va- na, it felt as if validated ako that they got to the playoffs and that they were peaking at the right time. But against Alaska, it's I, I hate to say it, but Alaska has been owning Hinebra in the past few conferences. I won't lie. Um, Calvin Abueva has this on switch. Mm. Has this on switch when it's against Hinebra? Ma, umi inum siya ng Hinebra bago naglalaro. I would not totally. I would not. It's like Hinebra tas Hinebra tas milk. Yeah. Tas biglang matatay na lang siya. Kaya ganon yung laro. Tapos na natin to. De ba? That totally makes sense. And Japet is also afraid of Calvin. So parang no matter how good. Japet is not afraid of Calvin. Japet. He is confounded. Nalilito siya. Okay, yeah. Nalilito siya. Nalilito siya. Calvin. Hindi, pare. Pag gumagana si Calvin, uh-huh. eh. Calvin knows that he owns Japheth. Eh. And, I, and eh, he never fans know this. He never fans know that Calvin owns Japheth. So, my only hope is that iba na yung scenario ngayon. That somehow, Coach Frankie Lim emboldens uh, Japheth Aguilar na huwag matakot kay Calvin. But th- that's it. Really. That's, that's, that's all I'm looking for. <sighs> and, uh, and that someone misses a spot in JV's list. Which that, should it. happen. Yeah. I won't lie, I wanted Kia. Yeah. I wanted I wanted Hinebra to lose because obviously if you're gonna compare Kia and um and Hinebra as a competitor, you want Kia, first time to make it to the quarterfinals of ever. Um and I keep going back to there's just too much talent on this Hinebra squad for them to be number eight. I mean I know you guys are celebrating the win. I know you guys are celebrating making the playoffs. But if you ask me, you know, the team still did underachieve a bit. They did. Um, they wala, did. Walang Chris Ellis, they did. They walang did. Mark did. Aguiwa, and those are all valid reasons. But you you made also the great point about why, how he never took off. And it's when they substituted the minutes of Mark Aguiwa for the Asian import. And yeah, uh, that, that's made all the difference, if you, if you ask me. That, because that did, now, that did. now they have a, a dead-eye shooter to play alongside Eli Tenorio. Um, and, and Greg Slaughter. And to play alongside Greg Slaughter. Um, who, I think, who I think is going to be the X-factor in the series. Um, lalo na with, with Sonny Tosh taking the longest ever VL <laughs> known to man. Dude, I mean, he plays against Jun Marfard for seven games. He's, he's dead. He took the last two conferences off. <laughs> like, seriously. When's the last time you had a relevant time from, from, from Sonny Tosh yeah, after no, game? He, all your post-offense is running through Romeo Travis. <laughs> Everything. I, I don't feel like playing Guten Nacht. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? I don't feel like playing Guten Nacht. I, I don't know. I you don't know. know. Um I like I like Kim. I like uh I like how he's taken over Mark's minutes. And here's the funny thing. The last time Hinebra got to the finals against Alaska, they were also at a twice to be disadvantage against uh rolling Rain or Shine with Mark Kagiwa injured. Yes. So I'm just hoping that, ah, okay, that, that, that's, okay, that's, okay. that's what I'm hoping eh. Somehow, okay. somehow nagsisettle yung rotations ng Hinebra pag okay. nagkaka-injury sila eh. We've seen how, we've seen how deep they can be. But now kasi their finishing five is LA, Kim, OJ, Greg, and Japeth. And, then and it's the, fixed, it's set. That's, that's set. And then off the bench, they have Sol, they have uh, Eman. Mm. And then they they substitute any combination of the starters in there. So parang means na nagkaka energy five, tapos nagkaka closing five. So I like how the rotations have settled with Dorian there in the second five with uh, Brondizi. Brondizi. Brondizi in the second five. So parang it's such a it's a great rotation of nine players solid. So yun yung hope ko na Hinebra's found this right mix of players, this right mix of playing time 
going into the playoffs? Well, Alaska's energy five off the bench ain't too bad too. Exactly. You know who my X-Factor is for this series? Ping. Banchero. There you go. Yeah, my Banchero guy. is the player that can lock down LA to North. Banchero is the guy who... He, he's, like the, he's like a new hire in the office nung sobrang pabibo. Yeah! Yung, yeah, yung parang, yeah. ah, gusto ko mag-volunteer, ako nalang gagawa niyan, ako nalang magtitimpla ng kape, ako nalang magpipresent sa kliyente. <laughs> Photocopy? Ako na yan. Oh, ako na yan, ako, ako mahala pa rin. <laughs> oh, oh, gusto mo mag-lunch? Hindi, stay muna ako dito, magtatrabaho muna ako, kasi nakakaya naman eh. That's he's coming for JV Cacho's job. He is. He's, he's, he's coming for JV Cacho's starting point. Guard he is, shot, he is. Slot. And, and the Banchero-Pringle matchup was one of the more fun global port yeah. storylines during yeah, the game. Yeah, for sure. Um, it was a good thing that we got to see heavy minutes for the second team for Alaska because you know, Banchero was able to showcase what he can do for Alaska. And guys like Baklao, guys like uh, Hazul, mm. you know, they're, all, they're all kind of settling into proper roles. It's, it's two teams basically peaking at the right moment. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the crazy thing about Alaska is sometimes there's still that worry that wala, wala silang superstar. Um, I mean, superstar local who you know can get you 20 points a game or yeah. even 15 points a game. So it's still by committee. And, you know, sometimes that runs out. It happens a lot. That's why Alaska gets blown out, um, you know, in the first or second quarter. Mm. Sa na lang nila when it all comes together. Um, um, NSD sila. Um, um, no, never say, you know, never, never say, say don't. Never say don't. Never say never. Never say diba? so, NSN. <laughs> NSN. Diba? So, but I, I think those problems will come at a later time. If you ask me Pag again, seven game series na. Uh, if you ask me, this isn't a reverse jinxing thing. I think Alaska will win this series. Okay. Okay. Alaska so, wins the series. In one. Yeah. Okay. Alaska in two. Alaska in two. That's my, that's my prediction. I think Hinebra has the firepower and has the talent to win that first game. It's when do or die comes and Alaska tightens their vice grip defense that, that, that might prove, prove what, to be... What if... Mm. So Alaska's rolling, they win. They beat San Miguel last week. What if nasira yung rotation nila <laughs> dahil hindi naglaro yung mga starters versus Actually, global no. port? What if, eh? No? That would be the worst. That would be the biggest car- know, karmaic victory ng Pure Foods fans, no? <laughs> Kung nasira yung discarte ng Alaska dahil nagbangko sila ng players versus global port. I think that's the hope. That's the hope. <laughs> say, no? That's the hope. That's what's going on. Yeah. So, okay, so I have recap. Yeah, let's recap. Okay, so for our first series, we have uh, San Miguel versus Meralco. And we both got that San Miguel in one. Sorry, Meralco fans. Okay. For the second series, we have uh, Rain or Shine versus, uh, versus Baraka Bowl. And we called it Rain or Shine in one again. Yep. Okay. For the third one, the, the, the one that we peg as the League Pass series is Star uh, Hot Shots Star versus, Hot Global, Port. versus Global Port. Look at and that face of Terrence Romeo. Yeah. Bro. Terrence Romeo refuses to lose. We f- I, I feel that Global Port has this. Ako in two. You in two. Ah, ako I say in one. Ako in two. In two. Yes. And for the final one, Alaska versus Ginebra, we've uh, showered praises on each other's teams, but uh, I'll be honest here and I'm going with what I feel objectively uh, Alaska in two. I say Alaska in one. But Ginebra in two. <laughs> but Alaska in one. Fine. And you know what? I'm gonna go all in. Change it up. He never in two. Let's go all in. Why stop hey, now? Last conference of the of the season. Why stop now? Yeah. Why stop now? He never in two. Malay mo, gagamitin niyo lang kami for your NSD run. <laughs> diba? <laughs> mo pasahin para yeah. Malay mo. Mo pasahin. Malay mo. Maybe this time JJ Helterbrand passes the ball. The last <laughs> shot of the season. Hey. 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 Hey, hey. Never say never. Okay. NSD. Before we wrap up, we'll just go very quickly through some of your questions uh, that we got on to eh. Um Let's start with uh, R. Villanueva at R underscore M underscore Vil. Who will be Hinebra's and Alaska's X, uh, X Factor? So we have, uh, we talked about Chris Banchero. For mm-hmm. Hinebra, who do you think is X Factor? G1. I think G1's the guy. I think if G1 can get the shooting like he did versus Enlex. He spreads the floor enough for everyone else. Okay, next. Uh, Miguel Villonco, magagalit, kaya, magagalit ba kayo kay Kiefer if mag turn siya and sumali ng draft if ever TNT gets a second pick? Nope. It's going to be completely... Um, it's not going to take us by surprise. Yeah. 
Ako, whatever Kiefer decides is good for him. He's given enough for the school. I can't ask anything more from him. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll hate song. him forever. I will hate him forever. BJ Manalo level. Whoa! <laughs> Joke lang. Whoa. Joke lang. Whoa. Joke lang. Di naman. Shout out to Kiefer Abena. Um, I want to shout out to Carlos Cesar. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Our, shout main out man. Our main man. Carlos Cesar. Uh, okay. Tinulong ni Miss Girly Lou. You still have to claim pala your tickets from Anasco from me. Kaninong never ang magwawage. She never quit squad or never say die. Lol's joke. <laughs> Apparently, Paul is making Hinebra in two. Hinebra in two. All in. All in na. No, 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 objective, no objective decisions for me anymore. <laughs> yeah. Just go completely emotional. So I'm wearing talaga. a Kia jersey. Yeah. If Kia could come in and play for Hinebra in the first game, why the hell not? <laughs> okay, then finally, si no to hater fans. So, can, Ala- can Hinebra beat Alaska two in a row? Uh, apparently, Paulo says... Yes. 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 We'll two see. close games. Two close games. We'll see. Alaska's gonna win. Two close games, Japheth hits the final game winner. No, don't over Calvin. Don't, don't, don't do that to me. Alaska, in one. <laughs> Tony De La Cruz plays the entire third. Oh, come <laughs> Face God. Face God. Face God. Face God. Tony De La Cruz plus minus God. Do not... Do not pace God me. Do not do not use your curse on me. Lil P. Lil P. Hey, I was correct, diba? Tony De La Cruz did play the entire third quarter. What? What? It's gonna do it for this episode of From the Stands. We want to thank you guys for joining us, uh, for watching, for supporting the show. Again, quick viewing reminders. Subscribe to the new FTS yes. page. Thank you yes. to everyone who did. We're approaching 300 subscribers already. Um, we need 500. We, yep, uh, so that you can share Wait, it I'm as well. I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and anything else we need to shout out? I love you, Manny Pacquiao. Thank yeah, you. Manny Pacquiao, Thank you're you. the best. So follow us uh, at Chuck underscore Araneta, at Polo underscore Busamante, and at Carlo underscore Pamintuan. It's brother. me, the real Carlo P. Verified. Get well soon, my friend. Okay, so on behalf of Polo Busamante. On behalf of uh, Carlo Pamintuan, my name is Chuck Aranet, and we will see you next week as the playoffs roll along for another episode of From the Stands. Peace! The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.